Hi guys, John Hunt here, bagpiper for Celtic Woman. Uh, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Um, I'm delighted to be able to take part in this new series that Celtic Woman are running. So in this episode, I'll be speaking about the bagpipes. Uh, the bagpipes are a traditional Irish and Scottish instrument, also known as the Piob Moor, which directly translates to big pipes in the old Irish language, in Gaelic. Uh, so in this episode, I'll also be talking about the reeds, uh, the drones, the bag, the chanter, the moisture control systems, and so on. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So here we have the drones for the bagpipe. You can see that there is a bass and two tenor drones. So originally back in the early 1900s, uh, the Irish war pipes, the Piab Moor, uh, only had two drones. So they had an outside tenor drone and they had a bass drone. It was varied throughout the years. Different people were trying different things. So the three drone is the most common bagpipe that is used across the globe today. To tune them, you would slide them up and down. You can see this, it slides up and down to tune it. You can tune, so if you go down, it gets sharper and if you go up, it gets uh, flatter. This bass drone reed is an easy drone bass drone reed. A lot of bagpipers and pipe bands around the world would use the easy drone reeds, um, mainly for its ease of use, it's easy to set up, and it sounds good, you can get a solid tone from the drones. Next up, we have the chanter. So this is the chanter. This is where I play all the notes. This is where the melody comes from on the bagpipes. Um, every chanter has its own reed. So there's a reed there, I'll, I have a pack of reeds here. So how it works is the air that blows in through it, the, the two pieces of wood, these vibrate together really quickly. They vibrate, they touch off each other and that's where the sound comes from. The air, the air that passes through it, it makes these two pieces vibrate together and that's how the chanter is sounded. A lot of modern day bags are made from synthetic materials. Um, back in the day, they used to use um, a sheepskin to create the bag and the sheepskin you would have to season it you'd have to add like a large a kind of a fatty lard seasoning to make sure the porous bag would be nice and airtight so you have the zip up here and you need to you need to lubricate the zip and add some um, it's like a synthetic kind of lard as well but you add it on there and it makes sure that it's nice and sealed and there's no air leaking out so you can see these tubes these are connected to the drones so you can see the stock of the drones you can see the tree stocks here and this is where the drone the actual drones slide into so then these tubes are connected to the drones and then this prevents any moisture from getting onto the reeds because if the reeds get wet or any moisture gets on them then the reeds the reeds can close off what inside in here then i'll just open it up to show you and take off the rubber so this is the moisture control system in the bag there is silicone stones, there's hundreds of them, little tiny ones inside in here. These help soak up the moisture from your breath and moisture that may be in the bag. These silicone stones would have to be dried out every maybe five or 10 times you play. So after every five or 10 times, you would probably need to put them into the oven at a low temperature for a while, just to dry out the stones again, and then you can use them again and it'll help soak up the moisture. I'm here now with my grandfather, Seamus. He's 78 years of age. He's probably the oldest and most knowledgeable bagpiper in the bagpiping world here in Ireland. So um, yeah, we're here and we're going to talk about how Irish bagpiping uh, amalgamates and mixes in with the old Irish music and it used to be played with the harp and other Irish instruments as well. So yeah, um, I'll leave him take over here on the books and a bit of the history on it. Yeah, I was 20 years of age when the pipe band in Newcastle West was formed in 1962. And at that time, we had a tutor which was produced by the Irish Pipe Band Association. And <clears throat> they held the, the All Ireland Pipe Band Championships every year in, in cooperation with the Northern Ireland branch of the Scottish Pipe Band Association, and it was held uh, every second year, north and, and south. As time went on, some of the players became excellent musicians and wrote out new tunes, new compos uh, compositions, 
and they produced books. So here's one of them there now. Traditional Irish music for the bagpipe yeah. by Dave R Rickard. Yeah, we can show it up close there just to. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional Irish music for the bagpipe by Dave Rickard. All the way to Galway, the Blarney Pilgrim, you know, the jigs, the, the lark in the morning, and porkers, the back of the haggard, and the bridge, bridges were full of stitches, you know, they would be well known by uh, yeah, accordion players and concertina players. And they also suit the chanter on the pipes. Brilliant. We went on. In 1983, we won in all Ireland ourselves, New, Newcastle West and, and District, playing in uh, Ross Trevor, County Down. And um, yeah, we played at f festivals of all sorts the Rose of Tally, the the Puck Fair, the Darling Girl from Clare, all those festivals, GAA matches, the Munster Finals, um, you know, so we have enjoyed ourselves and we have got great pleasure out of it. That was a great insight into the history of bagpiping in Ireland. Uh, the bagpipes are a fantastic instrument to play traditional Irish songs and tunes on. So on that, here is a few traditional Irish tunes that I play on the pipes. So guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'd just like to say a big thank you to P of Tunes. Uh, go check them out, pubtunes.com. What they do is they basically write all the old Irish tunes on pipes and they have audio clips and all the uh, notation as well for the music. It's really good. They're fantastic. They provided all the audio for this video as well. They're, I would be lost without them. Um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that watched this video. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for your continued support and we all hope to be out performing uh, for you all again soon. So uh, here is my favourite song to play on tour, Amazing Grace. <laughs>